Okay, morning everyone, and uh, welcome to the briefing for Tuesday, the 14th of November. Uh, so looking at the chart, uh, ice bars a little bit further apart than they were yesterday. Uh, at least the winds are back within limits. They're still relatively close together, still quite breezy, and they've put on this trough line here for midday. Uh, currently, I think it's uh, sort of just to the south of us, which we'll see in a moment. Going further ahead till tomorrow. Similar picture. Uh, looks like relatively strong westerly winds. Um, no activity over the top of us, so hopefully should be reasonably clear. Uh, now, Thursday currently not forecast to be that nice with low pressure sat directly over the top of us and these occlusions sort of in our area. So currently looking quite wet on Thursday. Uh, weather warning for this morning uh, up until midday for thunderstorms. You see Lashem right in the middle of that. Um, I don't think we're going to get the worst of it. I think we're going to get wet, but I think um, the majority of the really heavy rain and potential thunderstorms is going to stay to the south of us. But uh, we'll see how we get on. The winds today, um, pretty much from the west. I mean, this will be midday, so uh, fairly westerly, but between 25 and 40 knots, so 30, 35 knots at height. So it's uh, quite strong today. And on the sap pig, it's actually quite hard to see the showers down the, the coast, but um, you can see there is a lot of cloud there uh, and you can see some showers out to the west of us. And looking at the rainfall radar, you can see uh, there's quite a lot around this main band here, which I think is going to track to the south of us, um, but otherwise a very wet area that's certainly going to get us um, and a sort of slightly uh, more dense band up here to the west of us, which I'm hoping is going to pass to the north. But either way, we're going to be getting quite wet this morning. Uh, the rainfall forecast, it, it's not picking up the, the shape of it that well. But as we go through the morning, you see rain going through. It's, and the worst of it, it's showing uh, around about 11 o'clock to midday. And the clearance in our area looks like it's starting about 1 p.m. Um, and then hopefully clear from about 2. And then the odd scattered shower in the afternoon, but generally quite a clear outlook. Okay, public forecast is showing showers from 11 o'clock this morning, very heavy showers, um, and then a slightly brighter outlook into the afternoon, with temperatures actually at their highest now, about 12 degrees, and then cooling off as we go throughout the day. Wind starting from the southwest, going around to the west, uh, but quite strong all day, and uh, when we go flying, uh, we're going to be here, so quite windy, so keep your approaches nice and high. GFS is showing just 11 degrees today with a dew point at midday, about nine, so relatively close. I'm hoping low clouds not going to be too much of an issue for us. Okay, Farnborough's latest observation, not a whole lot really, uh, 11 knots from the southwest, some clouds at 4,000 feet. Uh, it gets a bit more interesting when we look at the TAF. So they've put all day, uh, generally a few clouds of 1,500, scattered a little bit higher than that. Um, and we've got a proper... Prop 30 here for rain showers. Uh, and then up until 3 p.m. they're showing. Uh, they're showing 15 knots gusting up to 27. Um, slightly lower cloud, QNIMS, heavy showers and heavy rain. Uh, so generally not very nice. I'm hoping that 3 p.m. is more like 1 or 2 p.m. Okay, top meteo, this is 9 a.m. So as you go ahead a few hours, you see showers and thunderstorms in the Lasham area. Uh, but continuing a couple of hours further, it's just showing a little bit of low cloud and the chance of some showers around. This is 1 p.m. And by 2 p.m., still some low cloud showing, but otherwise looks quite nice uh, in terms of showers in the Lasham area. So I think it, it should be flyable this afternoon. There's no no times today. Uh, for anyone who's watching um, who isn't booked in, uh, the booking list is almost empty today. We've got one person booked in in the afternoon. There are a few other people who will probably fly this afternoon. Um, but if you're thinking of coming along, please just turn up this afternoon. Uh, don't uh, you, you don't need to book in. If you can give the office a call just so I know who's coming along, that would be great. But otherwise, we've got loads of capacity, so just turn up. All right, operationally, uh, when we go flying, we'll set up on 2.7. A uh, couple of options, depending on how wet the grass has got. Um, we'll set up the launch point either in the normal position where the winch cable is running, probably down the south side, and just a standard operation circuits onto the grass as normal. Uh, given the wind is quite strong, straight down the run as well, we have got the option of moving the launch point further up here and still getting decent launches, 
you know, the cable was in the same position, but leaving a gap behind the runway. And that would allow us to do circuits onto the runway uh, to keep the gliders off the grass, which may be quite wet. Uh, that'll be left-hand circuits onto the runway. Uh, right-hand circuits will be onto the north side grass as normal. Um, making sure if doing a north side circuit, you do not land on the runway. So to keep the separation there. If you're on the jaw, just ask someone. That be myself. Uh, otherwise, there is no movements today. And if you go flying, sunsets are just after quarter past four. So last landing will be before 16.47. Okay, uh, I think we'll be flying this afternoon, provided we have enough people turn up. So I will see you out there. Bye for now.